only ones that can score are the Adelaide Crows. They're three points down. Ten seconds to go. They're 30 metres out. Bombers have got to go. Texas there. Gave the little handball to keep it rolling. No winner. They jump on it. Walker. Adelaide appealing for the free. Siren sounds. Bombers have won by three. Look at Tex. Potentially get better. This is post game. This is uh, Sammy oh, Draper. Who's oh, just, wow, uh, just rubbing it in now. I might change my mind. Yeah, I've changed. <laughs> I've, I've, I've changed my decision too. I think we're taking the points there, Bucks. Yeah. I think we're taking the points there. In the, in the fullness of time. Jackson, aggressive tap. It's Hewitt. There's that rush. Oh! It's marked by Cottrell. It is marked by Cottrell. It's a touch. Doc has played to his touch. But the mark has been paid. It can't be overruled now unless the field umpire had a clear look at it. Watching you now from 35 metres out. He stares gloriously down at it and puts it through. Charlie Kerno has gone down behind the ball. So he hasn't taken all the seconds. But it's game over. It's game Carlton. Like I said, as a result of this, because Freeman were convinced it was touched, it wasn't touched there because Fife pushed the ball into Hewitt's foot. You can see the it's flicker of Aisha's hair. That's a mark. I mean, we're, we're, we're paying that a mark in mm. almost every instance in this game. We always have. We're not sure what Jordan Clark has said, mm. but it must have been something pretty vicious because they've allowed that descent rule to be yeah. lapsed all year. They cra- long. They're wanting a hero. The high kick to the square. They all compete. Kangaroos clear it. Will it go out? That might be doesn't deliberate. Matter. That might be deliberate. It doesn't or is matter. It the siren? It was it paid before the siren? The question is asked. Hold on. We're having a discussion. The kick went straight to the boundary. I thought the decision was made before the siren. They're talking it over. There it is. Game's over. <laughs> the game's called. The kangaroos. Wow. Have come. Saad's hands. Fox is trying to corral him. Saad goes short. Oh, you know what? It's the one bloke. It is the one bloke out there that's got a sniff. It's fanciful, I know. And it's not going to do it. And Sydney have broken the ground. Oh, afterwards, yeah. let's just have a look at this. This is about to be kicked yeah. by Mark. And, and Stringer notices it straight away. And then after the kick's finished, you watch the number of Essen players led by Stringer. I think it's Kyle Hooker comes in late. Really remonstrate with the umpires here. So I, I don't know the rule here, Hamish, and you're looking it up at, at the moment, is you're not allowed to shake the goalpost and you're not allowed to put someone on your back either to you know, affect the, you know, 7 the and 11, Read it. shaking goalpost to a behind post. 17, 11.1 free kicks. I don't know how this plays out, to be honest. No. It, it looked strange when I saw it. I was... You saw it. You brought it up and we went to shaking goalpost or behind post. That is what the rule says. I don't know whether or not it has been applied correctly. Could be the goal of his life. Opens it up. Bangs it a goal. He's got it. One for the ages. No. It's touched the post. They're celebrating. They don't know. They don't know yet. Just hit the padding. It hit the padding. Oh my goodness. One stoppage. Hours and hours go into structures of these stoppages. For the Crows, heads out wide, bouncing ball, siren. One for the ages. The crowd boom. Some of the most amazing twists and turns. It wasn't even reviewed, and I don't know what you think about that vision. Maybe there are other angles, but from that vision, I don't know that it's conclusive that it's hit the post. Absolute debacle. We thought we spent all week talking about last week's score reviews. In my view, this is worse, because this is Adelaide season...